So what works best when you're uh, getting ready to export your character out of Photoshop is to clean out the background white and to leave your character. So I know some of you started painting your characters, but that's um, you don't need to have it painted. But if you keep it opaque, by that mean keeping it white, but keeping the background part of it transparent, then you'll be able to see through your background a little better on the pencil test. Um, one way to do this is to select your different layers in Photoshop. So this is layer one. It's the one I'm looking at right now. Uh, using my magic wand tool, I'll, I'll hit the anti-alias on there for tolerance about 15 and click somewhere outside of the character. And in this case, the character, the lines are all closed, closed up. Sometimes you may find the lines are not closed. You can use your paintbrush and just fill in with little bits of white to try to close it. But I have all these marching lines here showing that what's selected is outside of the character. So if I hit my delete button, it deleted that out. Let me turn off all these other layers so I'm not seeing them. So then I have it all deleted out. I will come back in here and just the space in between the arm and the tail. Delete that out. So then I have the character's opaque, but the background's transparent. And you'll go through and do that with each of the drawings. You need to select the drawings, select here. I'm just looking in case there's any leaks, what I call leaks, where the, the marching lines the, uh, would be inside of the character. I'm not seeing any there. Hit delete. A little bit between the arm and tail again. We got a little bit right there. And I'll hit command D. So I have transparent. And I'm not going to go through all these right now, but you could go through and um, delete. Let me I'll go through a bunch of them just to see. So this, uh, there's two different color whites here when this was drawn on two different kinds of paper. Um, so what I'm going to do is hold out here and uh, hold my shift key and select all this area outside of the character. Um, so it did like this character, the lines are closed off. Um, but most times you're working rough, those lines will not be closed off. You might have to go back in and just clean a line up or use your paintbrush to fill in with some white. The idea is that you have your character opaque and um, the background is transparent. So when we want to export these, all the layers are turned on. Uh, select this first layer, and then I'm going to go to File, Scripts, Export Layers to Files. File, Scripts, Export Layers to Files. And then I need to choose. I do not want to make it a, a JPEG. I'm going to choose my file type to be... Um, I'll, I'll do a PSD. So it's going to be a single layer PSD. And that way it will retain the transparency that I want. Um, I'll name it Walk Cycle. Uh, this is Angry. And I want to see where I want to save it. Put it into make a new folder, and I just hit run. And it goes through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And export the layers was successful. So it exported them as um, Photoshop files, and we'll see that when we bring them in.